I've been playing COD for about 13, 14 years, and I've never done a one-on-one. -on -one. So I decided since the option's available, I'll give it a whirl. So I chose the longbow to start out with, and I, I don't think I'm supposed to throw lethal, so that's a social error, a party foul on my point. The, the other guy was sniping too. See, I was hoping to be able to go up against a guy with an SMG, assault rifle LMG, and even though I'd get roughed up, I could still put one shot at him and maybe score a couple of points because I was nervous. I had no expectations. So I was shocked when I ended up getting ahead by one kill. But then I kind of realized the guy was playing with a real sniper. I was playing with a longbow, so it really wasn't fair. Well, he just destroyed me, so maybe it was fair. And I had another advantage in this game, even though, like I said, my hands were practically shaking. There he is hopping like a kangaroo, and I'm trying to hop. And I finally get him. And that is... He wasn't wearing ninja or vest or covert sneakers, so he sounded like an elephant running across a marble floor. I could hear him across the map, and having flown fighters for nearly 30 years in the Air Force, my hearing is shot, but I could hear him. And he was a he was a good sniper. He was chucking and jiving. He was moving. And so he always was pushing me. But then I thought, well, as long as I could hear him, it didn't really matter all that much. Yeah, he would start hopping around. And there I decided, let's make it fair. Let's go stalker against stalker. And I thought he was a much better, and he was, a much better sniper than I am. I've never claimed to be a sniper. But I thought, we got to make this fair. So I needed to die. And then my weapon would change out. See, I'm ahead by three here. And the longbow against the stalker is just unfair when you're running and gunning. You'll see that in the sniper's only map. If you watch my earlier video, I got 53 kills with a longbow. So there I am with the stalker. He's up by two. Oh, I'm up by two. And he just destroys me. He gacks me from a distance. But anyway, I'm not going to change back. I'll hop around too. And uh, I want to make it fair. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of laughing this whole time and telling them, good shot, you can't hear it. But we're tied. I managed to sneak in a quick scope there, or drag scope, whatever you want to call it, for you more pedantic kind of players. And the one thing I was concerned about was the laser. Every time I ADS, he could see my laser. So I wanted to be slow about that. And there he is hopping again. I finally realized that I should be hopping less and just moving a little bit, backing up and eating bullets. So we're tie. There he is. And look look how effective his movement is. I didn't want to throw out a shot unless I knew I had him because I didn't want him to know where I was. Although the laser probably gave him a hint. There we are. Kangarooing again. He's at the advantage there. So again... I can't reiterate it enough. My hands were like ice. If this had been a team death match, a pub game of any sort, I probably would have been doing a bit better. There he is. I don't think he saw me. Went right past him. I mean, very little fine control over my fingers. They betrayed me. So that was an accidental lethal throw there. Sometimes when I hold my controller down, I'll accidentally hit the uh, one or the other side and throw out a lethal or a tactical. And I usually end up 
eating a bullet. I just couldn't stop myself from ADSing every now and then on common areas, and that was giving me away. But this guy played honorably. He didn't hide in the corners. He played aggressively. He came after me, and I admire that. I don't admire being down by two points, two kills. Make that three kills. So I knew I better step it up. If there's any stepping to be done, now was the time. And that gave me some confidence. Going one-on-one -on -one against a better sniper at range. I cut his lead. Didn't expect to win anyway. But this has been a fun game for me. A learning experience for Grandpa. There he is again. And... We got the rabbit routine. So I decided to leave my feet on the ground and try to knock them out of the air. Now one thing I also learned, every time I got a kill I needed to reload because I was only carrying five rounds. And he goes back up by two. I don't know how that one missed, or that one. I put my feet on the ground. I'm down to one shot, so I know I need to reload. And I hear him running around me, so now I'm doing the rabbit routine and trying to get out of there. And he's up by two. Not really searching for him because I could hear him, like I said. He was, he was stomping. There's another nervous miss. Desperate shot to get him. Straight one. The Stalker is an excellent sniper. See, my, my fine control just wasn't with me. That was a lucky jump shot there. And now we're tied up. I'm shocked. And that one looked like it was right on him. I think I went through the structure there because he got, I hit a hit marker. There you can see my laser if I'm not careful. And another just awful miss. But I left my feet on the ground while he was jumping and I was able to get him to tie it up. Trying to stay out of the camper spots there because he was playing honorably. <laughs> like I said, I was laughing this entire game because I was having so much fun. There, I thought he'd come out, and he did. But he came out quickly. That was a little bit of cheese there to tie it up. Or just reload when I can. I heard him running. I just didn't know where he was. So I decided to chase him. And surprise. Grandpa takes the lead. It's a minute left in the game. I, yeah, I was watching the clock a little bit. One minute remaining. So once I got ahead, if I could run out the clock, I would. Sorry. There's another kill at distance. He was groaning every time I did that, which was twice. I was telling him good shot all the time. And now all of a sudden I'm up by three. There's 38 seconds left. I've been hanging on to that UAV because I think socially it's not good on a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. I watched the pros play. I thought I had him there. But boy, he just gacked me. So like I said, still nervous, still nervous now, shortly after the game, and I did the social faux pas. I put out 
the UAV, and I ran out the clock. Sorry, guys. I took the win, enjoyed it, told the guy, great game. He, he was very nice afterward. And Grandpa wins his first and maybe only one-on-one. -on -one. That was nerve-wracking. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.